Design of experiments can help you find uh, the optimal settings for a machine or temperature or whatever without a whole lot of trial and error. You can imagine you might take hundreds of trials to try and figure out the right combination of ingredients to give you the optimum setting to produce an injected molded part or even to come up with a way to measure the, the optimal way to send out a direct mail piece to formula formulate that direct mail piece. So in the QI macros, there are a series of templates you can use to help you do a DOE study. Up here, you'll see there's a number of factors. So you can insert your factor names here. You can do up to four factors. That's why they call it a two-factor, a three-factor, or a four-factor experiment. You want to set up the high levels and the low levels so that you can actually see what's going on. So I brought in some data here that we can use to do this. Let's just take that and copy that in there. So in this case, we have a die, and it's going to have a certain temperature. The low level temperature is going to be room temperature, and the high temperature is going to be 200 degrees. Pour time, we want to vary that between 6 at the low end, and we'll also try it at 12 seconds. Now, what you want to do then is go out and conduct your experiments once you know what your high and low values are for each one of these. And so down in here, you'll see how you want to set up your trials. So trial number one, and you're going to randomize how you do these. It's going to have a low value, a minus, and a minus. And so we want to, in that case, look at die temperature at room temperature in a poor time of six seconds. We want to try that. The next one, die temperature would be high, pour time would be low. Here, it would be 200 degrees and 6 seconds. And last but not least, 200 degrees and 12 seconds for a pour time. So these are the key things you want to look at in terms of setting up each test, high and low. So what I've done is I've collected some data out here that we can use. Let's copy that in. So now we have some data from our studies. We want to go down and look at the charts to see what's going on here. So you can see there's from low to high temperature, room temperature to 200 degrees, one, and pour time six to whatever. And whatever this metric is, I'm not exactly sure from the original data. And then we come down and look at the interactions between these two. And here you'll see that there's a significant change in this process. So when the pour time is low, it looks like that. Pour time high, it's like this. So our optimal point for this will be right at that intersection. So that looks like it might take, instead of 6, it might or 12, it might take mm, 10 seconds would be the optimal pour time. And we want our die temperature to be high. So this is a way to quickly be able to hone in on exactly the way to set up your system so that it'll work easily. Now I also brought in an example of one for DOE injection molding. And in this case, we had seven different factors using the L8 Taguchi matrix. Again, you'll see all the different setups for each one of the trials. Same thing with putting in your data. Up here, it will show you where the interactions are. Well, one and three, injection speed and melt temperature, have an interaction. One and five and one and six, injection speed and holding time and cooling time. So it appears that that one thing interacts with a lot of different things. Go down here, you can see where the different piece parts of each one of these are. If we come down and look at how the factors interact, when they're in parallel, there is no interaction. So factor number one and factor number two really have no interaction. However, one and three, as we said before, there's an interaction. Two and three, it appears that at the very low end there might be some interaction, but that's probably the optimal point, is low and whatever the temperature is would be optimal. So here you can start to see that it's easy to analyze some fairly complex trials of things to come up with the optimal way to select 
how to run any given machine or any given test of two different things and come up with the right answers using the QI macros and the DOE template.